everybody, it's Jody here and welcome back to my channel or hello for the very first time. <laughs> I wanted to do a review for you guys today. I know I've been doing a lot of review videos. I just, I got so much new stuff that I had to try out. So, and try out wholeheartedly before I give you guys a review on them. You guys know, in case you don't already, that any product that I review on my channel, automatically I use it and only it for at least a minimum of a week before I review it for you guys. So, today we are going to do a review on the somewhat loved, somewhat not cared about <laughs> Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics Palette. Woo! There are 12 shadows in this bad boy, all of which are matte shadows. Uh, each one is 0 0.04 ounces each. Uh, the inside of the palette does have a large mirror, which I'll kind of shine you with. And then comes with a little brush in the bottom, and then here's the shadows right there. Uh, the brush that comes with it, it's okay. Uh, it's a little Urban Cape brush. This little end here though, this little smudger end, oh, it's fantastic little smudger. I love that thing. This is, uh, you know, it's average. Oh, as you can tell I've been using it, the dust, poof, comes flying off of there. Uh, this palette did run me, I wanna say, uh, I'll double check and put it down below, but I believe it was $58. So what I'll do, I'll take a swatch of the top, I'll take a swatch of the bottom, and uh, we'll see how, how she goes. Some of these colors, I will let you know, are a little bit harder to see on my skin tone in a swatch. That doesn't mean that they're not good on the eyes. Very soft very buildable. There's the top row. Like I said, these center kind of ones in there are a little bit hard to see on me just because of my skin tone. They are exceptionally buildable. They are very, very blendable. So the shadows and the quality of them I really enjoy. They are a lot like other Urban Decay matte shadows where they do let off a bit of dust and powder, but nothing that can't be handled or managed. Nothing crazy. Uh, because they blend out so well, I can overlook the little bit of dust that comes off. The inside of the palette, because of how dusty they are, can get a little messy though. I am going to let you know that. It is a little bit of a mess. It's the second row that truly has me mojo going and it's probably that way for pretty much everybody who has this palette. This burnt orange color, oh, life, life. All right, and here's row number two. So for me, this palette, its size, the hardiness of the container, the gorgeousness of the packaging. Like, I mean, this packaging is just like, oh, it's so stinking pretty. It's like an art piece on its own. Urban Decay nails it every time with their packaging. I don't think I've had a package, an eyeshadow palette from them where the packaging wasn't just bomb diddly. This, I think, is the winner, winner, chicken dinner when it comes to the packaging. I just love it far too much. It's just, there's something about it that just screams awesomeness. The shadows inside, the quality of them is good. I have absolutely no complaints. I would say that if you are someone who loves matte shadows, you are going to love this. If you are someone who needs a palette to coincide with, if you're like me, who owns a lot of shimmery palettes, and you need something with more matte colors for your collection, for your everyday use, you're going to love this palette. If you're someone who's newer to makeup and doesn't, is, is afraid of sort of the shimmery and the shine and not quite there yet. This palette is great because it is so blendable and while the top row and the bottom row don't look like it, they all blend out and work together amazingly in perfect unison. You can play around this any way you want. This palette for me gets two great big thumbs up. It's entirely up to you if it's something that you're interested in, something that you want. If you have a lot of mattes in your collection already, then this is probably not something you want to go pick up. If you need a palette that's great for traveling, that's hardy, that has mattes that you can use in conjunction with other palettes, that's why I bought this. This is a support palette for me, and it's great. I have absolutely no complaints. You will love it too. Uh, the price point's a little bit high, but yeah, the packaging, it's okay. I don't mind. <laughs> Don't mind the price point, it's all right. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. If you're not subscribed already, leave me a comment down below. Other than that, guys, as always, thank you so much for stopping by, and I will see you all next time.